And something that you can also do is if you go back to the Docker file, you can see that it is also using the Flask Mako. So whenever you see Mako or you see Jinja 2 inside of a Flask application, you always want to check for server-side template injection. So now that we know that it is generating a template and then spitting it out on the index.html, something important to note here is that there is no sanitization within the user input. So when a user inputs the text, it just gets rendered into all the different kinds of fonts and then it shows and displays onto the front end. So what we could do is we could head on over to payload all the things and we'll just type in something like SSTI Mako and then payload all the things. And we can go over to server side template injection, Python. And when we scroll down a little bit, we could see Mako. And we see here that there is a payload here that we could probably use. So we'll just copy this over and paste it in. So this is how to do it is just, just by putting in a semicolon. And then we're going to leave, I think, everything else the same. Everything else looks correct. So now if we do Spookify, and we'll just copy this quick. If we do Spookify, we could see that we are root on the system. 